before going into half time, you, you want to get points on the board, and I, I, I think that was a regrettable mistake there. <laughs> As we saw Mornay stay named on the bench for South Africa, Simon Shaw, <laughs> we worried this might happen. Um, a a two-time Lions tourist of South Africa, he knows what it's like to win a series and lose one. And in 2009, you lost with a late kick by Mornay Stain. What were you thinking at the end there? Well, what, what, what was I thinking? Deja vu was what I was thinking. It was similar as that. It, it was uh, extraordinary for the whole, you know, tour to have come down to. That one kick, um, yeah, it, devastating for the Lions' perspective, but obviously, you know, hats off to the South Africans. Ultimately, you know, we had opportunities. We, when I say we, I'm talking about the Lions, clearly. The Lions had opportunities in the first half. We should have been, ultimately, probably 17-3 up first half. We didn't take our opportunities. The South Africans came out, took theirs, you know, and then in the end, worthy of victory. Simon, you know exactly how those Lions players will be feeling right now. Give, give us a sense of the minds uh, and the bodies of those well, guys. Well, devast devastated is, is an underestimation. Um, when you put that amount of time, we've seen it with a lot of um, Olympians over the last few days and how much it means to them, how much time they have to dedicate to what they do uh, to ultimately fall short the final hurdle, target, whatever you want to call it. And it's, it is devastating and, and it's, it's hard to come back from. Uh, but, you know, these guys have, are lucky enough that they've got you know, club um, environments that will pick them up and, and set them on a new course. But it, it will it will hang with them for a long time. It, you know, 12 years is the next time they'll have the opportunity. And, and for most people, that won't come around. So yeah. that's tough. Before the game, Simon uh, called it. You said... Uh... There'll be stretches on the field, there'll be guys going off, there'll be claret spilt everywhere. It was absolutely like that. The, the faces of the couple of the South Africans showed just how hard that battle was. We got an early injury to Finn Russell as well, but in a way that played into the hands of the Lions. Finn Russell was outstanding. Finn Russell was outstanding. And, and you sort of, unfortunately, when, when something like that happens, you sort of look back, you reflect and you think, well, maybe we should have used him, not him necessarily, but maybe Marcus Smith in a in a previous test to, to perhaps unnerve the South Africans because that's exactly what he did. You know, he, he posed a number of questions that unfortunately Bigger couldn't because of the, the style of player he is. Um, and um, yeah, he made a massive amount of difference. Uh, not enough, unfortunately, on the day. I tell you what, let's get the thoughts of James Haskell right now. He was part of the commentary team for this one. Over to you, Haskell. We didn't get the result we wanted, but to be honest with you, I thought it was the, the first time on this tour that Lions played some unbelievable rugby. Um, you know, for so much of the game, we were fantastic. We went in at half time uh, in the lead, looking very strong, but South Africa can never be ruled out. They did what they did so brilliantly, and then an individual um, try from Cheslin Colby, who was fantastic. He's finishing, there are finishers, and then there's Cheslin Colby. A beautiful turnover from Am to Villy LaRue, Villy LaRue to Cheslin Colby scoring in the corner. It was sheer disappointment for the Lions to come so close. Mornay Stain, the architect of doom in 2000, uh, I, well, in 2009, I think it was, uh, now has done it again, uh, however long later. He's 37 years old, he's kicked, it, kicked the post, ruined the party for the Lions, but credit to South Africa, they are world champions. There is no one better than them. They do what they do best. I thought about man of the match. I looked at Finn Russell, what a performance. Hasn't played a lot on tour. Was absolutely brilliant when he came on. Made the Lions play a different brand of rugby. But Am for South Africa was truly incredible throughout the tour. I think he's just South Africa's man of the series. Led brilliantly in that South Africa A game and has played out of his skin. So enjoy the game. Make sure you stick with TalkSport. Check out more rugby. Please subscribe, please share. And I'll catch you again soon. But Simon, I'm going to ask, and it's easy to say this with hindsight, end of the first half, end of the second half, would you have wanted the Lions to go for posts where they went for the corner and the choice? Oh, 100%. 100%. I, it's very rarely that I get involved in, in a game when it's on screen, but I was screaming uh, furiously at the, at, the, at the screen, not really understanding why you wouldn't. I understand momentum is a big thing in, in international rugby, but when there are three points to offer on offer in such a crucial time of a game, just before half-time, uh, in such you know, a game like this where, where points count for everything, you know, why not take those three points? It, I, I, I felt that was a, a critical period. Is that the sort of thing that 
keep the players will be waking up in a cold sweat. Maybe Alan Wynne Jones, who made made those calls, will he be waking up in a cold sweat in the days and weeks to come? I'm not sure. I mean, like ultimately, you, you, you want to leave everything on the ground, and, and and he'll argue the case that you know he felt that the momentum was was strong enough to believe that they could, you know, cross the whitewash again as they did the first time round. So. You know, who are we to argue? Ultimately, he's yeah. the guy that knows on the, on the ground. But I think just before going into halftime, you, you want to get points on the board. And I, I think that was a regrettable mistake, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, huge world-class occasions of sport like that is when world-class players come out and they try from Chesley Colby. That, that guy's an absolute freak, isn't he? He had no right to score that try. Well, he's a freak, and it's, it's, a, it's a pity we didn't see the freak more often in this series. Um, like, when you see something like that, you wonder why the hell South Africa don't pass him the ball more often. <laughs> um, but there you go, know, you know, he, he made the difference. Uh, we had, you know, the Lions had an opportunity in the first half. We didn't take it, they took theirs. That's the difference at high level sport. Yeah, there were some uh, decisions to be made by the referee. And I actually thought the Lions tried to speed the game up, but the referee held that as well. And I, I, I can only imagine the pressure he must have been up uh, in, given what's happened the last couple of weeks. He actually made for a great test match today. Yeah, 100%. I think, I think, I think the audience, everyone watching this this Lions series, deserved that. Um, if he hadn't, you know, we'd all be wondering, scratching our heads, wondering why we all, why we all spent so many so many days and, and hours watching the games that we, that we have done. But I think, you know, he came to the party with the right attitude, and uh, and it made for a much better spectacle as a rugby game. And, and hopefully, you know, people people reflect on that more than the previous two two test matches. Absolutely, and I'm glad we're talking about the rugby rather than any off the field stuff or any referee or TMO decisions. Um, but I've got to ask you because you can see this from both angles. What will tonight be like for those Lions? I'm just thinking back to that second test when the when the series was lost in South Africa 12 years ago. How big a session did you have? What can you remember or not remember? Well, I don't remember a lot, and, and actually carried on to the to the Sunday. So. Um, no, look, they've put so much into this. It's been the most difficult of all tours. Let's not, let's not forget how difficult this, these conditions are. You know, being pent up in a hotel for as long as they have done, uh, extre like extreme conditions. Um, so they'll they'll let loose, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know how they'll let loose, um, but um, but no, it, it, you know, once once it's over, it's over. And uh, there's no point in sort of dwelling on it. Um, as I say, you've got, to, you've got 12 years to do that. So, yeah. so uh, they'll, 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 they'll dispense with it and, and enjoy the fact that they, they've built up some incredible relationships over the, the period of time they've been together uh, and hopefully, you know, f feel joyful of that. The, uh, the, the 97 Living With Lions um, documentary has been brought up by so many players on the Lions tour at the moment by fans and it still gets mentioned. I've got to ask, are they the same trousers you wore when they're you were, when you they're, were they're an awful lot tighter, a lot, <laughs> awful lot further up my uh, waistline. I, 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 li I literally paved the way for Simon Cowell. Um, thankfully, you no, know, these are a lot lower set and they're uh, a lot baggier. Well, thank you for having us at uh, the M Restaurant in Victoria. It's been lovely. Pleasure. Top Pleasure. steak and uh, thanks for your time, Simon. Thank you very much for watching and following the Lions Tour in South Africa with us on TalkSport. Hit like and subscribe.